all I've asked for this three game series to give me a reason to stay up and they did that yesterday and they did it again today the Blue Jays beat the Angels 6-1 to one tonight you got some home runs you got more Will Wagner Kevin Gosman was great let's get to all of it and it all happens it all starts in the first inning right George Springer walks the lead off the ball game Dalton Varsho grounds out, but Springer ends up at second base in the play. So you've got second and one out. Vladdy grounds out, so now you have two out. But then Spencer Horowitz then walks, and you're like, okay, you know, two on. Now Ernie Clement then hits one down the third baseline. It hits the base and goes over Anthony Rendon. Springer comes in to score, and the Jays lead at one nothing. And up comes Will Wagner. Because of course... And with two out and two on, he drills one to right field. And it's down and goes to the wall. It's a two-run double for Will Wagner. Clement scores. Horowitz scores. And the Blue Jays lead it 3-0 in the top half of the first inning. A great start for the boys in blue. We go to the top of the third inning and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. gets an absolute hanging breaking ball. And crushes it deep to left. It is long gone. Homer number 24 on the year for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yes, he went one for five. But who cares? He went deep. Also hit the ball hard. This first at bat, he just, my God, a one-hop laser right to short. But after Vladdy's home run, Spencer Horowitz comes up and gets a ball up in the zone and crushes this thing to right center. And it's gone for the second time this year. The Blue Jays go back-to-back. Horowitz with his sixth home run of the year. Jays now lead at 5-0. And we're feeling pretty good about things. You go to the top of the eighth inning with Leo Jimenez on. He got on base via a weird squib doubled on the first baseline. Joey Lopervito comes up, who was riding an 0-for-22 stretch going into the at-bat. And he drives one to right field. It drops in front of Joe Adele for a base hit. Leo Jimenez comes in to score. An RBI single for Joey, and the Blue Jays lead it 6 0. Great stuff. And the only sort of offense they got was Willie Calhoun hitting a solo shot in the bottom of the 8 9th inning off of uh, Eric Swanson, and that's it. And the Blue Jays win it 6 1 over the LA Angels. Let's get to these player stats because there's some nice ones. First off, George Springer went 0 for 2, and he walked and came around to score. But he only had two at-bats and Bardry to come in to pinch hit for him because, I mean, what's what's the point of replay? To get it right. And it looks like it's a hit by pitch. Springer starts walking to first base. Umpire doesn't signal anything, gives the catcher the ball. And we're like, okay, Springer's quite confused. The umpire, he, he hit me, right? He, I guess he probably said No. So he looks at the dugout and was like, it hit me, guys. Like, what are we doing? Let's go to review. Josh Knight didn't take him very long. On go the headsets. And you see the replay. And my God, his back foot moves. Like, it's pretty evident that it hit his back foot. And we're like, all right, it's an easy overturn. Springer ended up at first base. Not a big deal. They come back and say, nope, didn't hit you. Or it's not conclusive evidence, blah, blah. What? Hello? And Springer's losing it. He's like, wait, what are we talking about here? I, I Really? And he turns his back to the umpire. I think he turn, comes turns around again to come back to the plate and says there was a joke or something like that. And he gets the boot. And then he snaps. I've never seen Springer act like that to see him lose it like he did. He gets up close and personal with the umpire. No touching, no, because he can't get suspended or anything for taking a breath on an umpire. Meanwhile, he can stand there all, "Hmm. (laughs) you can't do anything to me, which is absolute hot garbage because there's no repercussions for the umpires making a horrific call. But then again, it wasn't the umpires, right? They went to review. It was New York. I don't know who was blind there, but hell, I don't know what they were smoking, but I want a piece of that. You know, they're sniffing glue or something. I don't know what they were doing in that New York office, but it, it ain't pretty. And then Josh Snyder has to try and get in between the umpire and George Springer. But meanwhile, Springer's still out for blood. And then Vladdy has to come in and try and hold Springer back. Like, it was pretty hectic stuff. And he obviously gets tossed and leaves the game. So, you guys know my thoughts on that. I'll leave it there. 
Dalton Varsha was in the two hole, went 0 for 4. Vladi 1 for 5. Who cares? He went deep. Spencer Horowitz, as per usual, gets on base twice, went 1 for 3. Two runs scored. The home run, obviously, and the walk. So a good day for Spence. And Will Wagner, 2 for 4, two RBIs, two doubles. And a good day in the office for him. Great job there. And Joey Lopervito getting going one for three with an RBI and a walk. So he gets on base twice. And I believe he stole a base too. He did. So again, a positive day for him. Hopefully he can build on that moving forward. Only seven hits total for the Blue Jays today. But they made them work for it. They, they made them pay, right? And that's the difference between good team or great teams and crap teams. The good teams are able to launch baseballs. So if you walk a couple guys in one hit, Driving you three drives in three runs. The teams like the Toronto Blue Jays, are, you know, you need four hits to drive in a run. It's not going to work. So two solo shots, we'll take that damn thing, right? So awesome stuff. They made them pay for their mistakes. They walked four times. They struck out eight times, and they won a ball game. But the main thing that we're going to look at, and yes, you were up big early on, but Kevin Gosman, that is now back to back outings for him where he has gone at least seven innings of work. He went eight innings in his last one against the Orioles, only had three hits and two runs. Albeit the strikeouts were down today. You know, again, you're playing the Angels, so take it for what it is. But seven shutout innings, six hits, walked two, struck out five, and was was much better. I mean, he was very, very good tonight. He desperately needed The Velo was down early. But he was able to find it late in the end of the game, throwing like 96 or something like that. So a good start for Kevin Gosman. Ryan Burr, after his little melt- meltdown against the Baltimore Orioles in the in the dugout, I mean, look, I don't blame him, honestly. You were up in that game. You allowed a two-run shot to Justin Holiday to give him the lead. I get it. I'd be pissed, too. But since then, he's gone two straight scoreless innings, or sorry, two and a third scoreless innings, where he struck it out six dudes. Six of the seven guys that's come to the plate against him since that outing. He, they've struck out. He went a clean inning today. No base runners. Three punch outs. Great day for Ryan Burr today. Eric Swanson. Eh, there, he made some nice pitches, but an inning. You allowed a home run. Walked a guy. Got a couple strikeouts, but again, you want to see him have some clean ones. But uh, it is what it is. You win 6-1. And we move on to tomorrow in the finale of this series. Looking for, I don't know, for me to get the broom out. Now, it's going to be tough, though. Jose Barrios gets the ball for the Blue Jays, and it's Tyler Anderson on the mound for the uh, for the Angels. He's been elite this season. 3.05 ERA, 109 strikeouts this season. Oh, come on. There we go. He's thrown 141 innings, and he has an ERA just a shade over three. He's been great this year, easily their ace. Um, how's the offense going to do it, right? He's, I believe he's a lefty, so I'm guessing Will Wagner will probably sit that one out since he's played the first two games of the series. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And like I mentioned, Jose Barrios gets the ball for the Jays, and he he needs a good start, man. He, he really, really does. You look at, I mean, he had a great one against the Oakland A's, but it's the Oakland freaking A's. Uh, you know, in the one previous against the Yankees was no good. The Texas one prior was nice. So, you know, two of his last three starts have been good, but those were against Oakland and the Texas Rangers. So, eh. and the one against the Yankees was no good. Now you're playing an, an, an LA Angels team tomorrow. That's no good. Offensively, they are bottom 10 in every single category except for stolen bases. But really, you need guys on base to do that. So it is what it is. So for Jose, you need him to go out there and shove. And you'd love to see the offense continue to, to continue to drive in runs. right? He scored six. They only had seven hits. But he drove in six runs. He scored four the day before. Your pitching staff's been great. You've allowed a total of three runs in two games. Let's finish this series off on a good note. It's another 938 first pitch. So like I said... Give me a reason to stay up. That's all I ask. All right. So you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the dub this evening, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not done so already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. What you like, what you not like from today's game. The Toronto Blue Jays, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok. All that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Yep, here we go. Game three of this series between the Jays and the Angels. 938 first pitch uh, at Angels Stadium, I think it's called. Eh, who cares? This is not, it's not going to be jammed anyways. <laughs> but Jose Barrios, Tyler Anderson's the pitching matchup. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the dub this evening. Talk to you guys then.